welcome to my first unboxing video. I chose the Schminky Horadam or Artist Grade set to unbox for this occasion. This is a special edition set produced about 7 years ago for the 120th anniversary of Schminky. So the set comes in a silver box and opening it, you see that there is a navy blue leather case with a flap which is pretty cool because then you're not going to be worried about getting scratches on your metal palette. On the face of the flap, you'll see that they have the embossed name of the company. You'll also find a pencil on the brush at the side. This is a Da Vinci brush and Koinur pencil. The company Schmincke or Schminky actually partners up with Da Vinci brushes, one of the best brush companies in Europe, which is why we have their round brush in this set. The metal case fits snugly in the leather jacket, which is good. Taking out the palette, we see the trademark logo on the face, and we see the logo inside as well. This long palette can actually fit up to 24 half pans or 12 full pans. It's very much like the typical metal palette that can also fit brushes in between the pans. These are the same 12 colors that you can find in the smaller 12 pan set. So again, we have a number 6 round brush here from Da Vinci and a Koinur letter H pencil. So this is great for your light sketches. And last but not least, we have this piece of paper where we can put our swatches in. I actually got this set as a gift from my aunt and uncle. I was super excited about getting this, so, so let's take this metal tray and I'm going to unwrap all the colors here now. Schminka has two lines of watercolors. They have Horadam and Academy. Their earliest grade or professional line is Horadam, while Academy is their student grade version. If you're just starting out, I think the Academy or student grade version would be more practical. Opening up the pans one by one, I can observe that the paints are very much stuck onto the half pans. None of them have shrunk or can easily fall off the pants unintentionally. In fact, some of the paints are still sticky and can stick onto the wrappers. I've read that this is the result of liquid filling of the pants versus the tabletized way of producing colors. Before receiving this set, I actually went through a very long process of thinking before actually buying a couple of tubes from a local store in my country. I was very concerned about the price and my budget, of course. This unboxing video has been on hold for quite a while now and I've even been invited to an event where the Vice President of Sales and Marketing of Horadam Schminka, Marcus Baumgart, I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, actually talked to select artists about Schminky. I learned a lot, especially about the light fastness tests that they did. Now, being a bit more conscientious of the lifetime and light fastness of my paintings, especially for exhibit and commission purposes, I think Schminka is a very good investment. Okay, so let's start swatching. I'm going to try to talk about the staining properties, translucency, and the pigment number of each color in this set so that we can get as much detail as we can. Starting off with lemon yellow, this color is made with pigment code PY3, meaning it has a single pigment. This color is present in most basic palettes. It's got the green bias, which means you can create brilliant green mixtures with it and it's semi-staining. The next color is Cadmium Yellow Light. Made with PY35, a single pigment, it's semi-opaque and staining. Next is Cadmium Red Light, which looks more like an orange, so it's warm red made with a single pigment, PR108. It's actually opaque and semi-staining. Next is Permanent Carmine, which closely resembles Cunacridone Red. It's made with a single pigment, BB19. It's semi-opaque and semi-staining. This color is originally obtained from cocknail bugs, but Schminky uses a modern synthetic pigment for better light fastness and sustainability. Next is, of course, Ultramarine Finest, which is a staple for basic palettes. It's made with a single pigment, BB29. It's transparent, non-staining, and very, very granulating. It is red bias, so you can mix beautiful purple hues with this color. Now for Prussian Blue. It is a traditional blue color that is semi-opaque, heavily staining, light fast, and is made with only PB27. 
Now let's move on to phthalo green, just a semi-transparent color, non-staining and is made with PG7. It's super brilliant and Shiminki recommends it for landscape paintings. Now for a permanent green olive, which is my new favorite green, it's semi-opaque and semi-staining. It's made of two pigments, PO62 and PG7. Next is my favorite yellow ochre, it's semi-transparent and semi-staining, made with PY42 or 43. It originates from Italy, but I've read that they stopped mining there, so it's probably synthetically made as well. Now, English Venetian Red is a new hue for me. This is actually an iron oxide with PR101. It's opaque, staining, and is an orange colored brown red. Then we have Sepia Brown, made with PB151, PBR7, and PBK9. It is semi staining and semi opaque. Last but not least, we have Ivory Black, made with PBK9, a very deep black, coming from the greased bones. It may have some bluish tones at times. Schmincke's version is semi-staining and semi-opaque. And we're done swatching. So those are all the colors in this limited edition set. But the only difference from this one and the regular 12 pan or 24 pan set is that this one has a case, a brush, and a pencil with it. Most colors in this set have single pigments, which means getting clean and brilliant mixtures of colors is very easy. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me or message. Check out my other watercolor reviews on my website and social media platforms. Thanks for watching everyone and have a good day painting.